Hello and welcome back everyone to another tutorial on Tableau. This series of videos will help you take your skills from beginner to expert level in Tableau. Do not forget to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are the first one to know whenever I upload any new video. In today's session we will see how to highlight minimum and maximum value in a bar chart and a pie chart. Let me first show you the demo of what we will be doing today. Here I have a bar chart that shows sales of different region within each category. The requirement is to highlight the bar with the minimum and the maximum value in this bar chart so that by just viewing the chart we can easily figure out the minimum and the maximum sales value. Red highlighted bar has the minimum value that is 117k dollars in case of south region within the furniture category and the green highlighted bar has the highest sales that is 265k dollars in east region within the technology category so by just viewing the chart we can easily figure out the minimum and the maximum sales value now let's jump to tableau and see how to create a view similar to this one first we will create a bar chart so drag category to the row shelf then drag region also to the row shelf next to the category now drag sales to the column shelf change the fit to entire view let's turn on the labels by clicking on show marks label button and sort the bars in descending order so here we have a bar chart that shows sales of different region within each category arranged in descending order let's change the format of this sales field to show the sales in terms of dollars so right click on sum of sales click on format then go to pane then click on this numbers drop down go to currency custom we don't want to show any decimal places add dollar in the prefix and we want the display units in terms of thousands click anywhere outside now it will take a few seconds to find out the minimum and the maximum value in this bar chart to solve this problem we will highlight the minimum and the maximum sales value bar with different colors so create a new calculated field close this format window click on the drop down click on create calculated field let's name it min max and write down if sum of sales equal to window max sum of sales then we want max else if just copy this line and paste it here so this will be else if sum of sales equal to window min sum of sales then min else other end so when we will check the description of this window max function we will find that window max will return the maximum value within the window so in our case this entire bar chart is the window and we are telling tableau to look for the maximum value in this bar chart so if sum of sales is equal to the maximum sum of sales then we are calling it max similarly if we will check the description of 
window main function we will find out that window main function will return the minimum value within the window so we are telling tableau to look for the minimum value in this bar chart and if the sum of sales is equal to the minimum sales value then we are calling it min else if both the conditions are not followed then we want to see other so now click on okay now drag this field that we have created to color let's change the color so double click on red we want to show other with gray color let's select red for min and let's keep blue for the max click on okay so now you will see that the minimum value in this bar chart is 117k dollars and it is highlighted with red color and the maximum value in this bar chart is 265k dollars and that bar is highlighted with blue color and the remaining bars with gray color you can select colors as per your preference currently this entire bar chart is set as the window and the tableau is looking for the minimum and the maximum value in this whole bar chart if you want to highlight the minimum and the maximum value within each category then click on the drop down go to compute using and select pane down so you will observe that within each category the bar with the maximum value is highlighted with blue color and the bar with the lowest sales is highlighted with red color let's keep it table down go to compute using and select table down because this table down will make more sense in our case as within each category we can already figure out the maximum and the minimum values as the bars are already arranged in descending order within each category so in this way you can highlight the minimum and the maximum value in a bar chart with different colors similarly if you want you can even highlight the minimum and the maximum value in a pie chart so create a new sheet let's create a pie chart to show sales in different regions so from the mark select pie then drag region to text drag sales to angle also drag sales to the text to see sales in case of each region change the format of sales field to show the sales in terms of dollars right click click on format then go to numbers go to currency custom we don't want to show any decimal places we want the prefix as dollar and display units as thousands let's change the fit to entire view close this window now drag the min max calculated field that we have created to color we want the minimum and the maximum value computed based on different regions so click on this drop down go to compute using and here select region so from the legend we can figure out that west region has the highest sales then south region has the minimum sales here we can't see the partition between the central and the east region so for that let's add a border so that all the pies are clearly visible go to color and here let's select white border now all the regions are clearly visible and we can figure out from this chart that west region has the highest sales then south region has the minimum sales out of these four regions you can change the color as per your preference uh, let's select gray color for other double click on red select this gray color 
and let's select red color for men click on ok so in this way we can highlight minimum and the maximum value in a bar chart or a pie chart so this was all that i had to cover in this session i have added the link of this workbook in the description below thanks for watching this video i hope this session was helpful see you in the next tutorial